Hey guys, let's take a look at number 39, combination sum. We're given a set of candidate numbers without duplicates and a target, num target. Find all unique combinations of candidates where they sum up to target. The same repeated number may be chosen from candidates. For, the, for example, 2, 3, 6, 7, target 7. Of course, 7 could be the possible solution. And the other one is 2, 2, 3. So 2 could be picked twice. Yeah, we can just use brute force. Just uh, find out all the possible possible uh, combination. There will be 2. It will be uh, 2 to the power of n, right? It will be like this. Possibility, so it's not acceptable. We need to improve as we did some uh, three sum or four sum problem. The first thing we need to do is sort the string, so uh, sort the array. Because if we sort the array, we can just end, stop looking forward, like we find two, three is five, and then we we got six, put six in, it will be 11. So we don't, no more need to. There is no need to continue thinking about uh, the array which has the has the prefix of two, three, six. We cannot add any more numbers into the array. So we first we sort the candidates. The next we just use backtrack backtracking as we did before. We just uh, keep keep just uh, keep searching, keep searching and find the possible solution. As what we did in, to, in the last problem which is the which is the soliloquy. The actual solution is only one and it's complicated it will be like uh, a two dimensional array. But for here we need mod we have multiple solution and the solution will be simple. It's just a, a one-dimensional one-dimension array. So in this backtracking, I will just pass down the, 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 the temporary result to the iteration function. So we try to create a function called walk. So this because every uh, every number could be picked twice. For this walk, I will just uh, it to only receive a temporary result, which is called a temp result. It's empty. Uh, it's not empty. It's uh, uh, the array, a temporary array. Okay. We finally will walk with the empty result. Every time we walk, we check the empty. Uh, check the, uh, the the array. First, we check if it is satisfies by the condition so we we summon them up mm hmm if that's the case maybe we can just pass down the sum also to prevent the sum up every time okay so we just uh, pass down the sum zero okay if sum equals target we just to push the temp to the final result const result equals empty and finally we return result if it equals the sum then result push uh, result push uh, the temp okay and we need to return enable to we stop walk we we in order to terminate the walk process, we need to a uh, flag. If we turn like return false, okay, then we should stop walking. Okay, for if it is some already some to target, then there's no need to there needs no need to add more numbers into the array. Yeah, it's it's gonna be overflowed, right? It says it's the candidates should be positive integers okay so we can return false if not we could add more numbers in it 
right? So we will we will try to try to add all the numbers in. I smarter than candidates. Tenth. Okay, let's push it in. When we push it in, like uh, we when we get the two, when we get two, and the, we get two three push three in push uh, push two in push three in push six in. But when we push six into the two, we've got be two six and it will be eight. So we need to stop. So uh, we if yeah it's uh we should make it more like like a, la a check um you should terminate equals walk okay sum sum should be sum plus num and the temp should be con concat Concatenation, con concatenation. So you concat uh, num. Yeah, if I return true, okay. If return true, it should be terminated. And then if should terminate, then we break. So this actually is the best part of backtracking. We should stop. Right, we found that we cannot continue anymore. Rather than we just uh, list up all the possibilities and uh, check them one one by one. Okay, so and uh, if we were if we were done, and uh, we're done, yeah. Let's try to check the check if the algorithms work. The first one, the first input is empty. It's sum zero, so it's not here. And we try to push two, three, six, seven in. Nums should be this, and we should walk two, three, each number, and uh, each and with array of number itself. And uh, we should return, right? Okay, so we should return false. And now we walk. Again, with the sum, uh, with the number and uh, the, the array of each number. If the sum is quick target, where which is the case seven, we push the seven, we push the first solution to the final result, and then we go on, right? Okay, so it will be uh, the the seven will be gone, so it's gone. It's returned. So wait a minute. Yeah. And the next one we should push two, three, six, seven in. Okay, the number should be two, so we put two, two, three, two, six, two. And then we will walk them again. And in two, two, but but they're in order, so we actually check two, two, two. And then two. It's not okay, so it's two, two, uh, two, two, three. It matched and it stopped, and then we go back to three. Yeah, three, two, a uh, two. Oh, there is a duplicate problem. If we check, uh, two, two, three, then three, two, two actually will be checked. So we had a we need to solve this problem. Maybe we can just improve at the for loop here. We can only we can only pick the number bigger or equal to itself. Like two, we can to pick two, but three, we only pick three. Start with three. Right, that that is a good case. So, for we check the num here, and if num is smaller than, uh, smaller than what? Uh, we start okay. 
Wait a minute. We should start. In we should pass in the index also. Start with I. So the next one should be start with I. Again, yeah. We need to. Sorry, we need to pass the index also. The index should be zero. Oh, this should not be I, but index. Okay, if the index is zero, we should we should we start with index. And uh, yeah, the first one is two, three, six, seven, and next one we should walk with a two, and start with I, which is two itself. If we walk three. We should start with three, which is a uh, one. Yeah, this should work. Let's run the code. Oh no, here it's not okay. I hope you work. Wow. Just hit of the memory. Hmm. What? Uh. Wait a minute. Walk zero. Start with zero. Sum is zero. And the erase. Okay. We lock the sum and index. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. If, oh, God, we need to, I forgot to, oh, shit. We should terminate if it's bigger or that, uh, equal to target. And But if only we equal the target, we collect the temporary result. This should be better. This should be right. Oh yeah, it's accepted. Nice. We remove the log and submit. About t now, let's consider. Yay! It passes. And uh, about the time complexity. What is the time complexity? Uh, so, the worst case is actually the same. I think. Like there's a huge target that we need to check every possibility and we cannot find it, find them. So the worst case is still worst is O to the problem of N, I think. But generally we improved a lot better. For some numbers in the middle, we can cut down the, we can cut down the calculations a lot. And space. Um, wow, it's hard to check. Finally, how many results are there? Uh, it depends, right? The maximum should be, I don't know. Ow, I cannot understand the, I cannot get the time and the, I cannot get the exact uh, time, worst time and space complexity. The worst case should be like one, two, three, four, and we have a number of, uh, 100, then you could be a super big target and uh, this is just one, two, three and actually that means we can have a have them each of them as a as a solution right so actually the worst case should be also O2 to N 
I don't know, man. Anyway, we have uh, finished this problem. I think this problem won't be asked in the interview, I think. But the idea is very simple. If we are to search, like, like some, we are free to solve the problems, like, find the po all possible solutions of some, some numbers adding to some target. We first make it ordered, and then we can uh, terminate as fast as we can by comparing uh, the result to the target. And when we walk, when we create the iteration function, at first we thought it would be just need the temporary uh, array, and uh, but we need to catch the sum up. We we'll catch the sum. We can reduce the calculation by just the passing the sum also, extra sum, and finally. We think we found that there's a duplicate problem. We need to avoid some duplicate cases, so we need to extra index. Yeah, that's how I solve this problem. Hope it will help you uh, to some extent. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.